hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is tani dabi but everyone calls me dabi and today's video is a video i don't think i ever thought i would be doing but it's a guide to self-isolation um i don't know where in the world you're watching from today but 2020 is moving very mad 2020 is like surprise motherfucker being away from social situations so much for like an extended period of time is kind of crazy and is not the easiest thing to do so i've decided to kind of be helpful during this period to hopefully someone out there and make a guide to self-isolation how to do it how to make sure that you have your sanity intact um at the end of all this when whenever that's gonna be and to be honest guys if you guys have any other suggestions that i don't mention it could help me as well it could help anyone please drop it down in the comment section below i'm gonna get straight into it if you enjoy this video please remember to click the like button and subscribe So the first thing I'm going to address is sales. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. The world economy is kind of crashing right now. But everything is on sale right now, if you haven't noticed. I've been getting so many adverts for clothes, shoes, bags, friggin' sofas. Like, very random things. Everything, really. Don't go and buy nonsense because it's on sale and one instagram person is doing oh look at me look at this top this top is cute and i'm in my house self-isolating where are you wearing it to this is not the time to buy nonsense the world economy right now is very very unstable and the main advice i would give so many people is please save your money please spend wisely this is the time to make sure your finances whatever you have is in check working from home is very weird to me i don't know if it's just me but it's a bit difficult to be productive sometimes because you can very easily be in your pajamas and then you wake up in the morning and you're hungry and you watch tv and then you eat a bit more and you start working and you're like wait i'm hungry again it's like oh what's happening on instagram oh what's happening outside is that a squirrel six and a half hours later stop being distracted so i've kind of gotten a system actually i got this from jackie Aina, um and it is working for one hour like work hard for the one hour resist all temptations and then give yourself a 10 15 minute break and then do another hour then another 10 15 minute break and i feel like that break kind of allows you to like diffuse for a couple minutes before you like go super intense um and it kind of helps you focus because at the end of the day working from home you should be working you should be productive managers and all that will probably be checking your productivity so don't play yourself keeping like an open mind to things that you normally wouldn't eat and keeping an open mind to where to go buy things so right now the uk isn't completely in lockdown so what i've been doing i honestly haven't had any issue like with trying to find chicken and stuff they don't have any in sainsbury's they don't have any in tesco's but go to like your local like halal butchers so if there's like a turkish butcher or like those ones that sell like nigerian foods and all that the funny thing is odds are a lot of like the mainstream people don't go there it's just like mostly us africans and like minorities my local ones that haven't really had that much of a shortage like you're more likely to find stuff there so make sure you go really early in the morning being able to make sure that you are getting the right nutrients you're eating healthy food you're eating good food and being conscious that you're not just eating crisps and pepsi while you sit down at home so while you're cooped up at home and kind of your only means to connect with the world is social media and the news please be really conscious of how much time you spend on these things 
to be honest first of all you're gonna be a lot less productive if you're busy like on your phone or watching tv watching the news especially um and two mama yeah i'm wary tobago too much they can drive you nuts i will give you a very good example me yesterday i saw this video of these army tankers that were coming into london in quotes i don't even know if it was real or not i didn't believe it at that point and i didn't think i believed it until i just sat down somewhere i heard a random noise and like i started jumping I was like, oh my god oh my god oh my god like i don't even know whether i have the disease or not but maybe i have it and army's coming to get me and they're gonna put me in quarantine and lock me up in some small place and i had to stop myself i was like what am i doing like, <laughs> are you okay what the hell is going on please be very conscious of what you're taking in right now um yeah obviously you need to keep informed and stay informed but don't just like go in a black hole of social media for six hours nothing good is gonna come from it so as much as working out can be like quite boring and like sometimes to be honest even i would like rather do anything else than a workout or exercise but it is really important right now you're not going out as much as usual you're not walking around as much as usual even if it's just to work or whatever and you need to keep your body active to be honest and it does help you mentally um you don't need to do anything too extra but make sure that you are doing some form of exercise now i thought i've been following a couple different instagrammers i'll put their names here but a couple of different instagrammers that um kind of give you a guide on like things to do give you an idea and yeah make sure to stay active because before you come out and your body will be like this after self-isolation so traveling without actually leaving your house what the hell do i mean by that travel vlogs i feel like this is a great time to watch travel vlogs to be honest um you kind of can pretend you're like in Cancun somewhere or you're in the Maldives sipping on cocktails and like really quick you just go and make a cocktail in your kitchen and then go back to the video um, and just pretend you're there. And another thing you can do is actually kind of like plan a trip through these videos and when all this is over, you know what? maybe you can just go there, you, you have the trip planned anyways or work towards going there. And of course, your girl has a couple of travel vlogs up that I'm going to link up there. So check those out as well. So this is a really good time to take up journaling or meditation or even both. To be honest, I've been journaling quite a lot and it's kind of just a, a page or two. Uh, but like it helps me to reflect on like what I've spent my day on or what I'm going to spend my day on or like oh what's really happening what's new and like it kind of sometimes ideas pop into your head that way and uh, sometimes it also helps you process things and if you don't want to do that you could also meditate you can meditate do yoga or if you believe in god you can have a chat with god which me i've been doing that a lot lately and be like no god what's really happening what's your plan for me what's your plan for the world and like just have a like meditation time and just try to like clear your thoughts and organize your thoughts with God or just with yourself. This one might seem a bit obvious, but I'm still going to say it anyways. And it is read a good book. Not like you see all those boring books that like you just struggle and struggle and struggle to even get to half of the book. Please, now is not the time for them ones right now try to find books that will activate your imagination books that have very good world building if you don't know where to start i have um a video about like books by five nigerian authors if you want to read those so we're not at the end of the video guys and i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've been able to gain something from this video um before i forget please remember to be considerate to people around you at this point in time check up on people if you have like neighbors or people around you that are old or vulnerable please reach out to them ask them if they need someone to do their grocery runs for them so they don't have to go out and interact with people too much because that's a bit dangerous right now if you're vulnerable and yeah um stay positive and see you in the next video